Biden issues new warning to Russia over invading Ukraine. U.S. President Joe Biden said Thursday that any Russian troop movements across Ukraine's border would constitute an invasion and that Moscow would pay a heavy price for such an action. It was the latest White House effort to clear up comments Biden made a day earlier when he suggested that a minor incursion by Russia into Ukrainian territory could result in a more measured response by the United States and allies. Facing an avalanche of criticism from Republican lawmakers and Ukrainian officials that Biden's comments had invited limited military action by Russian President Vladimir Putin, Biden sought to clarify his remarks at the start of a meeting at the White House focused on domestic policy. I've been absolutely clear with President Putin, Biden said. He has no misunderstanding. Any, any assembled Russian units move across the Ukrainian border, that is an invasion, said Biden, adding that an invasion would be met with a severe and coordinated economic response. His comments came as U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken prepared to meet Friday in Geneva with Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in a high-stakes bid to ease tensions that appear as likely to fail. Biden said the U.S. was preparing for Russia to take action that fell outside the parameters of conventional warfare. Russia has a long history of using measures other than overt military action to carry out aggression paramilitary tactics, so-called gray zone attacks, and actions by Russian soldiers, not wearing Russian uniforms, he said. On Wednesday, Biden said he thinks Moscow will invade and warned Putin that Russia would pay a dear price in lives lost and a possible cutoff from the global banking system if it does. But Biden also prompted consternation among allies by saying the response to a Russian invasion depends on what it does. It's one thing if it's a minor incursion and then we end up having a fight about what to do and not do, etc. he said. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky was among those expressing concern. We want to remind the great powers that there are no minor incursions and small nations. Just as there are no minor casualties and little grief from the loss of loved ones he tweeted. Before traveling to Geneva, Blinken warned in Berlin that there would be a swift, severe response from the United States and its allies if Russia sent any military forces into Ukraine. If any Russian military forces move across the Ukrainian border and commit new acts of aggression against Ukraine, that will be met with a swift, severe, united response from the United States and our allies and partners Blinken told a news conference with his German counterpart. Later, Blinken accused Russia of threatening the foundations of world order with its buildup of an estimated 100,000 troops near Ukraine. Russia must face a concerted and severe global response if it invades, he said in a speech in Berlin, the city that symbolized the Cold War split between East and West. These are difficult issues we are facing and resolving them won't happen, quickly Blinken said. I certainly don't expect we'll solve them in Geneva tomorrow. He later told an audience at the Berlin Brandenburg Academy of Sciences that Russia's actions toward Ukraine are an attempt to subvert international norms and just the latest in a series of violations of numerous treaties, agreements and other commitments Moscow has made to respect the sovereignty and territory of other countries. Perhaps no place in the world experienced the divisions of the Cold War more than the city Blinken said. Here, President Kennedy declared all free people citizens of Berlin. Here, President Reagan urged Mr. Gorbachev to tear down that wall. It seems at times that President Putin wants to return to that era. We hope not. Blinken met earlier with top diplomats from Britain, France and Germany to project a united front over concerns that Russia may be planning to invade Ukraine. He met Ukraine's president in Kiev a day earlier. Blinken took pains Thursday to stress the US and its partners were united, noting that American diplomats have held more than 100 meetings with allies in recent weeks to ensure that we are speaking and acting together with one voice when it comes to Russia. That unity gives us strength, a strength I might add that Russia does not and cannot match, he said. It's why we build voluntary alliances and partnerships in the first place. It's also why Russia recklessly seeks to develop. Thanks for watching, and please make sure to like and subscribe and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you keep receiving the latest news from United States News Channel. Bye bye.